We're going to go ahead and replace our complete strut and spring assembly located right behind your front wheel. The process for the driver's side is the same for the passenger side. Using our 22 millimeter socket, let's loosen and remove our lug nuts. Go ahead and remove your wheel, set that aside. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna go ahead and loosen and remove this bracket here for our ABS wire. Next, we're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket and we're going to remove this bolt here holding our brake flex line. We wanna go ahead and disconnect our sway bar end link here to our strut. Now there's a 17 millimeter nut on here holding it. Let's go ahead and see if we can loosen and remove that nut. In our case here, the whole stud for the ball joint on our server end link is spinning as well as the nut. We're gonna go ahead and install a number six Allen wrench here. I'm gonna tap this in. Got a little bit of rust build up in here. Just wanna make sure that it is in there pretty good. Slide our 17 millimeter wrench on here and see if we can go ahead and loosen this. So we did apply some heat, some rust penetrant and work this nut back and forth. We've applied a little bit of grease to the threads as we're working this back and forth. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and pop our swivel end link out. I'm gonna go ahead and you, you can either use a 24 millimeter or a 15 16 socket here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these nuts here. Now you can use an impact gun if you want to, or you can use your wrenches or ratchets, whatever you have available. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these here. I'm gonna go ahead and spin these nuts off. Once we have those nuts off, I'm gonna go ahead and tap these bolts out. Now you wanna be careful not to damage the threads. We're just gonna tap on the head here. Now to access the nuts from the upper part of that strut, you wanna go ahead and open up this little panel right here located under the hood. I'm just gonna use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm gonna hop on in here and gently pry this out and then remove this little access door. Inside, you're gonna have a three of the strut nuts available. The top center one, you do not want to touch. We're gonna use a 14 millimeter deep socket and with our ratchet and go in and loosen the three nuts on the top here. We switched over to a 14 millimeter shallow socket for one of these here, just for clearance purposes, and that's working just fine. Now you switched over to a power tool to go ahead and remove these nuts. You wanna be careful that once you remove these here, that strut can drop out on the other side. So you wanna watch for that, maybe have an extra hand to catch that strut. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove these.
And the last nut you can only get with a ratchet for clearance purposes. At this point here, our upper portion of our strut is unsecured. So let's go ahead and go back to the wheel well area and pull our strut out. And at this point here, we can go ahead and work our strut free from our knuckle. Try to work this forward. that strut around your brake flex hose here. And remove the strut from the vehicle. Now what I want to do is bring that strut up and in. I want to go ahead and work our flex hose over. Feed that strut up and into our engine bay. Once we get those lined up, we can go ahead and push this knuckle back up and into place. So what we're doing is we want to go ahead and get our strut lined up with our knuckle. Now at this point here, you have two options. One, maybe have someone assist you and push the strut up inside the wheel well area and catch a couple of those nuts. If you're working solo, it's probably going to be best if you can anchor the strut to the knuckle and that way there, it'll kind of hold it up in a preliminary area and you should be able to reach up there and get those nuts started. Now in our case here, the strut is in position but is off that I can't get the knuckle lined up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screwdriver, you can use a pry bar, put it through the strut holes and you can pivot the strut. You can pivot it on the bearing itself. That should help you line that up. And get this pushed into place so you can go ahead and get that up and bolt in. Ours is off just a little bit. This might take you a few tries to get this lined up. Now I have my pry tool in the bottom hole and that'll help me pivot these components around a little bit to get them where I need it to be. We have that upper bolt in. Let's go ahead and get our lower bolt popped in while we're there. Bottom bolt is set in. Our strut is in position up top and the studs are poking through the inside of the engine bay area. Let's go ahead and install the three nuts on the top. Now that we have the three studs poking through in the top, let's go ahead and get the nuts started on here going to reach these in and thread them on as far as I can by hand. Once we have all three of these on, we're going to go ahead and snug those down and get them torqued. Good. torque these down to 43 foot pounds. And do this for all three. Now that we have all three of those torqued down, we can go ahead and install our cover here. There's two little tabs on the bottom that go behind the bottom portion here. And you just push this up and into place. Install the strut nut bolts here. Once we have these two in, we're going to go ahead and install our 12 millimeter bolt holding our brake flex line right here. Now we did clean the threads and put some anti-seize compound on there. So let's go ahead and get that bolt started. Then we're going to install our 10 millimeter bolt next that secures our ABS line and bracket right here. Once we have all these installed, let's go ahead and snug them down. Let's 
Let's torque down our strut nut bolts to 156 foot pounds. Now, once you've completed this job, you want to go ahead and bring your vehicle down and get an alignment performed. Install your sway bar end link nut here. Let's get and torque down this nut to 58 foot pounds. Go ahead and install your wheel. We're going to get and install your lug nuts. Once you get them all installed, we're going to go ahead and snug those down, and then we'll go ahead and torque them down. Let's get and torque down our lug nuts to 95 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.